What is going on guys? It's your boy Big Delon. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 Zerlocation video. So, this week he's on IO. If you don't currently know where he is on IO, then you want to spawn into Giant Scar, go through this little tunnel of this building here, and then he's off to the left hand side in a nice little cave system. Pretty easy to find, not too difficult. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight to it. So, this week... Not too bad actually, right, so... Starting off with the Fate Dengram as always. This will give you a year one exotic that you don't currently own. It's 97 legendary shards. Um, again, if you want to collect the year one exotics, if you don't, you know, if you're missing some of them, then fair enough. But it does not give you Forsaken exotics. I just want to make that clear. Anyway, getting on to the actual stuff that he has in his stock this week. The Vigilance Wing Pulse Rifle. Um, this used to be an absolute beast it's toned down a little bit now obviously it's like lunas howl not forgotten trust it's a little bit more hand cannon heavy now there's also better pulse rifles out there mainly being the blast furnace which you can get from the forges there's the gambit pulse rifle forgot what it's called now uh bygones that is also a much better option um and yeah i mean it's still a really solid pulse rifle but there are definitely better legendary options out there for you Moving on to the Hunter this week, we have the Orpheus Rig. Really good exotic for Hunters. If you don't have these, I would recommend picking them up. They are definitely an absolutely beast um, in PvE activities, mainly for the Night Stalker Tether. So, it provides ability and energy for each enemy tethered by Deadfall Anchors. Mobius Quiver has more shots. Um, so, again, all around solid exotic. So, the perks in here, we've got Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, then we've got Special Ammo Finder and Scout Rifle Scavenger. So, pretty trash perks on them, but I'd pick them up anyway if you don't actually own a pair, because they are that good. Moving on to the Titan, the Hellfire Heart. This is a, a decent-ish exotic. Um, I don't personally use it, though. The unique perk on this is improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities and greatly improves the recharge rate while your super is charged. Now, again, I don't like having to save my super to get the benefit. Um, I like to try and get my supers off as quickly as possible just so I can get another one. Um, so depending on your playstyle, you may like this more than other, obviously more than me. But again, it's pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's better options in my opinion for Titans. So the perks in this is Unflinching Bow Aim, you got Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, Special Ammo Finder, and Scout Rifle Reserves. Again, pretty trash and boring perks, nothing really too much uh, special going on there. Moving on to the wall, we've got Verity's Brow. This is energy weapon kills, boost your grenade recharge rate for you and nearby allies. Again, much better exotics for warlocks in my personal opinion. Um, I've never actually used this, I just don't really reckon it's that decent. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty trash. The perks in it are fusion rifle targeting, hand cannon targeting, hands on, which is game bonus super energy on melee kills. Then you got machine gun reserves and sniper rifle reserves. So not too bad, I suppose you could go something maybe like machine gun reserves and hands on, but again, pretty meta exotic in general. And uh, finally you got the Fire Swords card, which is your Nightfall modifier card so you can customise your Nightfalls. And uh, yeah guys, thanks so much for watching, have a nice rest of the day, peace.